Hi guys sports here news briefs. Mbappe's move to Real Madrid still on the cards. It seemed like Atleti were going to sell me and I've been here nine years. David Rea could replace Hugo Lloris at Tottenham. Chelsea and Liverpool willing to fight for Moses Caicedo. NFL The undefeated Lakers are the most informed NBA team in 2023. Now the news in detail. Mbappe's move to Real Madrid still on the cards. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano spoke to, AMP, about Kylian Mbappe and Real Madrid. He openly said that Madrid will not think about signings until next summer and that the PSG attacker could still join the Spanish giants. Without any doubt, the transfer saga involving Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappe was one of the most important in the world of football in 2022. When the Frenchman was about to sign for Real Madrid, he decided that it was a good moment to renew with PSG until 2025. From that moment on, Real Madrid fans said that he would not join Madrid while Florentino Perez remained as president. After renewing at PSG, Mbappe became an emblem of the club and even in Qatar at the World Cup, however, he missed out on the World Cup to Lionel Messi's Argentina. After penning a new deal, rumors emerged that Mbappe's relationship with Neymar and Messi was not the best and that he wanted to leave. However, Mbappe still has a contract at the club and has already made it clear that he is happy at the French champions. As for Real Madrid, they are short of strikers and only have Karim Benzema as a number 9 so they still have eyes on Mbappe. That said, it seems like there will not be much transfer activity at the Santiago Bernabeu in January. Everything seems to suggest that activity will take place next summer, transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano told, AMP, that Mbappe could move to Real Madrid after all. There is no news on Real Madrid signing attackers. Things will be evaluated in the summer. I would say the Mbappe saga remains alive, the journalist said. It remains to be seen whether the 24-year-old makes the move to the Spanish capital in the summer. It seemed like Atleti were going to sell me and I've been here nine years. Goalkeeper Jan Oblak is untouchable in Diego Simeone's lineups. The coach can make changes to the 11, but the Slovenian always plays in goal. Oblak will play against Barca. The goalkeeper spoke to, Dizon, ahead of the game. They, Barca, are a great team, they're fighting for La Liga. It's going to be difficult, but I have faith in our ability. I'm sure we'll have a great game, he said. Personally, he said that he feels happy at Atletico Madrid. I've been here nine years and I'm proud. And even more so with the start I had. It seemed like I was going to be sold after just one season. Luckily for Oblak, despite a tough start, things started to go well for him. Everything changed and I've played a lot of matches here. Lots of good moments, other sad ones, but I remember the positive things. Lastly, he warned Barker that Atletico are not as bad as some think they are. This year we're a bit inconsistent, but we aren't going as badly as it seemed. Yes, we've played poorly in some games. We were bad in the Champions League and that has punished us, but in La Liga I'm sure we're going to fight until the end, he concluded. David Rea could replace Hugo Lloris at Tottenham. The Tottenham board have begun working on strengthening the squad for the 2023-24 campaign. One of the main aims will be to sign a goalkeeper who can become the number one in the future. According to The Telegraph, the English club are trying to sign a goalkeeper who can become Hugo Lloris' replacement. The Frenchman has just turned 36 and his contract expires in summer 2024. Therefore, Spurs' main target is none other than Everton and England shot stopper Jordan Pickford. However, the North Londoners also have a backup plan. Chelsea and Liverpool willing to fight for Moses Caicedo. Chelsea and Liverpool are trying to bolster their midfield in the January transfer window. The Blues, for example, tried to sign Argentinian Enzo Fernandez from Benfica while the Reds wanted Mateus Nunes of Wolves. However, neither side managed to complete their respective deals so they are looking for alternative options. Sky Sports, 
says that Chelsea and Liverpool go both fight for Ecuadorian footballer Moses Caicedo. NFL, the undefeated Lakers are the most informed NBA team in 2023. It seems unbelievable given how the season started for the team, but the Los Angeles Lakers are on a roll. They are currently the most informed team in the NBA at the start of the new calendar year, as they have managed five straight wins, four of which have come in 2023. The Lakers grabbed victories against the Atlanta Hawks twice, Miami Heat and Charlotte Hornets, also beating the Sacramento Kings on Saturday. King James LeBron James' side have significantly improved over the last weeks after a dreadful start to the season. Against the Kings, Thomas Bryant was extraordinary in the paint, scoring 29 points and downing 14 rebounds, while both Dennis Schroeder, 26 points, and Russell Westbrook, 25 points and 15 assists were on fire. As for James, he has managed to defy critics, averaging 38 points per game since he turned 38 years old. In Sacramento, LeBron recorded an impressive the 8th of July 37, scoring an impossible basket in the last minute of the game to lead the Lakers to victory. Not playing the Cincinnati Buffalo game to its conclusion has no effect on which clubs qualify for the postseason, with both teams already assured of being among the top seeds from the AFC conference. However, an NFL statement says it creates potential competitive inequities through the playoffs as both teams will have played a game fewer than their rivals and a team's record determines who has home advantage. The team with the best record in a conference also receives a bye in the first round of the playoffs. In the AFC, the top seeding is between the Bills, the Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Lakers are climbing up the table, currently sitting 12th in the Western Conference. They have registered the same number of wins 19 as 8th place Portland Trail Blazers and they are just one win behind 5th place's Kings. I thought we did an excellent job, Coach Darvin Ham said after the game. 70 points in the paint. That's who we are. We want to play fast, physical and free, with force. That was actually a representation of our physicality. At the end of the day, 33 free throw attempts as well. But guys are not settling, they're attacking. Staying in constant attack mode. For more sports updates please keep watching our YouTube channel Sportsia or visit our Twitter handle.